Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 4th to the 10th of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading Aquarius and pull your angel card. So what does Aquarius need to hear the most please angels? What does Aquarius need to hear the most please? Thank you. Okay that fell out so let's go with it. We have ask for help from others. Now, when this card appears, there could be somebody in your external environment who is influential this week. And it feels in a positive way because they're giving you help. Um, so very beautiful. OK, so I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. The third card is advice from spirit. The fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, Aquarius. Okay, that flew out. So I've got the Hermit card of Virgo. So that's your current situation. Five of Pentacles is your challenge. Judgment is advice from spirit. And six of wands, very nice, is your outcome. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Aquarius, please. Okay, it's interesting. I'm getting the same with six of wands and justice. You know, judgment and six of wands, justice in the six of wands. Feels like there's karma here to do with the six of wands. So what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Aquarius. Thank you. Let's clarify the cards on the table. 4th to the 10th of January 2021, please, for Aquarius. Thank you. Three cards here, Aquarius, but let's go with it. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Tower and the Page of Wands. Five of Pentacles is clarified with the Page of Pentacles. Judgment is clarified by the Five of Swords. And the Six of Wands is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. So I'm just going to clarify this Knight of Swords. Let's clarify this Knight of Swords, please. Thank you. So we have the Page of Cups. <laughs> I'm getting justice again. Wow. Uh, I'm not going to put that down, but you know, there's definitely an energy here, Aquarius, if something wasn't fair. But there are people or a person around you this week who is, it seems to be influential in your life. Okay. So... There's definitely an energy of you. The Hermit is definitely an energy of, of shining the light from within. Introspection, some deep introspection, finding answers on how you need to deal with the situation, take action, sound judgment calls, that kind of energy. Um, it feels to me, I mean, it feels more money career, I have to say. Because uh, the tower can be a life-changing 
event it can be uh, sometimes it can represent the pandemic for me as a reader it can be the tearing down of the old but it, it's where the universe tests this tower with that lightning and the tower is found to have weakness it wasn't built on firm foundations therefore as soon as it's tested it comes crumbling down it wasn't built to stand the test of time there's definitely an energy here Aquarius that even though for some of you it feels like you've been going through this healing period finding acceptance regrouping trying to get some introspection see the way forward it might well be there some alone time that you've been experienced here as well it feels you're being realigned to a new path by the universe and that's what this is all about and it, it's interesting because the the knight of pentacles and the page of wands i mean this can be to do with news to do with some kind of offer opportunity that's opening up a new path but for some of you it feels like some offer has fallen through I'm definitely getting this energy of some offer has fallen it definitely feels like some offer has fallen through or some opportunity has fallen through Because the, there's this kind of sudden change, sudden change to do with some kind of offer and opportunity that you, you thought, it, it feels like you felt it was yours, you thought it was yours, but now you're just kind of regrouping to try and find the way forward because some offer that you thought was yours it feels like it's fallen through it could be to do with the pandemic it could be obviously in any any situation it feels it's to do with money and career here that's for sure because you're trying to manifest something in your challenge position but it just doesn't feel like it's happening and there's definitely this energy of it getting on top of you here I mean, you know, there's a feeling of either financial loss here, or job losses, business losses, money losses. And you're trying to manifest this new opportunity. And it feels like you thought you had it. And now you're having to regroup. You know, and there's definitely that energy. And that is what I'm feeling here. You're, you're trying to manifest something here. Let's clarify this Five of Swords for Aquarius, please. Let's clarify this Five of Swords for Aquarius, please. Angel Spirits Guides, 4th to the 10th. Thank you, you know. <laughs> okay, so the Ten of Cups with the Five of Swords. I mean, the Ten of Cups is a blissful relationship, the happy ever after, the card of productivity pays off. You know, you work hard at a relationship, you work hard to provide for the family. Um, it can, it's a card of success, the Ten of Cups, by being productive. It doesn't, it, it feels in this situation, Aquarius, that... This Five of Swords, I mean, yeah, it can be a card of conflict. But it, it can be a card of, of negative thinking as well. The need to see past the now. And that's what I'm feeling with this Fives as well. And again, that's what this Page of Pentacles does focus on starting manifesting again regroup there's definitely an energy of an opportunity to make some sound judgment calls get alignment perspective from within in how you need to take action in your external environment to deal with some kind of disappointment 
it feels like something has the way I'm feeling this is something has affected the harmony the bliss of your home your family dynamic um five of swords can be about arguments conflict or it's caused possible conflict in the home the family or it might well be for some of you something is coming in that might cause some conflict in the family home setting it feels something the judgment card is there's the trumpet there is the call to action you are being called on to act because something happens here and spirit is saying something is asking you to take action let's clarify this judgment call this judgment card let's clarify this judgment card please Yeah, you see, something's going to happen. That could be news. I mean, this is a card of good news, the, the Sun card. It's a card of coming through a difficult situation. The, the Five of Swords can be a card of tensions. Something putting tension, strain on your family, your home, your relationship, providing for your family at home, your relationship as well. So it definitely feels like that's what Spirit is saying here. And that's what I'm feeling that Five of Swords is all about. The judgment call is something's going to happen. You know, there is life here with the sun. Something is about to happen. Um, but it's a good thing. The sun is a great energy. It's the most positive card of the tarot deck. Good news, celebration, joy, happiness that allows you to release, that allows you to recover, regenerate, be restored in your own light. Step into your light and put a difficult situation behind you. So something is going to happen, either news may come out of the blue or an event may happen or there could be some kind of change of, of fortune here, Aquarius, that is requiring you to act, maybe to make some decision or choice here. Can be to stay on the path you're on or potentially move to a new path as well. That could be an option. But the sun is an energy of it's so much better. Things are about to get so much better. There is growth things are beginning to happen and it's positive things, positive energy. The sun is a great card of success as well. Um, so it feels like something's going to happen here, maybe some news, an event, uh, some information coming to light, a contact coming out of the blue, I mean call it what you will, that is requiring you to act quickly. Maybe make a decision very quickly because it's happening you know that sun energy is wow something that may have either not been panning out it might well be even this opportunity that you thought was yours may have fallen through because um of the pandemic and now it might well be that it's being it's being kind of like brought to life again you know it feels like that kind of energy and it's requiring you to act quickly I mean, this tension in the family, in the home, this could be whatever decision or choice that you need to make may cause some tension, you know, or, you know, call it what you will. Or it might well be there is suddenly going to be the release from tension in the home, the family. So take it as you will, Aquarius. But there's definitely an energy of victory and the weight is about to be lifted. So the weight that you've been carrying, the burden, and it just feel a while. It feels like this has been a while. You thought that you had something in the bag and then it just fell through and it felt like you were at stage one again where you're having to manifest a new path again. And then it feels like there is some kind of something out of the blue that's happening that Spirit is saying is karmic. So whatever this situation was, it feels like you've been treated unfairly because the universe has a hand in this, in righting a wrong or restoring balance to a situation. 
because there is some kind of news to do with an opportunity that is bringing you happiness, joy, beautiful, a gift. Um, page of Cups can be opportunity. It's, a, it's, a, it's an opportunity or some news that can bring you joy, happiness, things are about to look up. And the pages are the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. So I feel for some of you, and it's allowing you to claim a victory, a significant achievement, success, put a difficult situation behind you. Somebody of influence here, Aquarius, that, I mean, I've got Gemini, I've got Virgo here. Um, so, you know, powerful energy of Virgo as well. So for some of you, there is somebody in your life who is helping you through a situation or helping bring this change, helping you open this new door, helping you claim this victory, this significant achievement, success and feeling pretty good about it. It feels like the weight is about to be lifted and it's going to come quickly. It's going to come quickly and it might well be this opportunity that you thought was lost, you thought was cancelled, has new life brought back. Um, and it's, it's almost kind of like, you know, resurrected. It's being resurrected. This is resurrection. So I, I definitely feel in this energy that there's some kind of opportunity that's resurrected here and the news is requiring you to make some kind of quick decision. Uh, but the message is that the weight is going to be lifted. Wow, it's really, I'm getting some really big energies this week. But very positive indeed. Very positive indeed, Aquarius. Yeah, we have motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. And you know, spring is a time of new growth. And that's definitely what I'm feeling in this energy, certainly with that sun card as well. There's new growth. There's something new happening here. It feels like something is resurrected. Something you thought was gone is resurrected. And it's lifting a weight off your shoulders. So love the energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Aquarius, and I will see you next time. Thank you.